this is an old English lathe that was originally an inch lathe and it's been converted to metric. Um, so the dials are in metric and I need to know uh, how many millimeters over size it is. So I'm just going to press the button on to get millimeters. That's fractions of an inch, sixteenth of an inch, it says. And it says 27 millimeters. And um, an inch is 25.4. So I need to take off 1.6 millimeters approximately. Now we can move the tool away from the work and then advance it back to the, because I'm doing this measurement right at the edge of the work. Um, that's how I measured it when I took the piece out of the lathe. I measured it at the outer edge. The inner edge actually is a little bit thicker. It's, uh, not, it's, it's slightly tapered. So now I need to move the tool to the inner edge, turn it back into zero mark <laughs> just a tip about adjusting these dials there's quite a bit of slack in this just moving it that much actually that's uh, 0.2 of a millimeter or more it um, it doesn't do anything it's got a bit of slop in it so when you want to adjust it um, against the surface you wind it out a little bit to take up the slack and wind it in until it reaches zero mark right there i'm just going to use a, a reference mark that's nearest me and then again we'll move the whole bed up until it's touching the work right on the other edge and then we'll take this clamp and tighten up the clamp up the um, apron so it can't move. So I think some of that was a bit difficult to follow, so I'm going to explain again how this works. We used the vernier calipers to measure the length of the material at the outer edge and found it was 1.6 millimeters longer than we wanted. So we want to take off 1.6 millimeters, and we can do that by using the dial, which is calibrated in millimeters. So we move the tool, uh, the cross slide back so that the tool is right on the outer edge of the work material and um, set the dial on the compound slide to zero. Then we move the whole apron until the tool is just touching the outer edge of the material and lock the apron. And uh, that means that then that when the dial is reading zero, we know we're at the initial edge where the measurement was made. You then back off the compound handle um, so that you can begin cutting. Move the tool towards the center where there's a little hole in the, in the center hole um, and advance it a little bit and cut. just do a series of cuts until you get down to the zero mark. Now we've got an even face right across the front, which is at the length, which is 1.6 millimeters too long. So you, you keep making cuts until the dial now reads 1.6, and you now know you've taken 1.6 off the length. So that's how we get the length just right. Obviously this old lathe has seen better days, and uh, one time, sometime when I get enough time, I'll uh, take it all apart and clean and paint it and, and uh, do some repairs on it like the cross slides and, and uh, back gear needs some work on it too. So yes, it's uh, an old lathe but it seems to be working reasonably well. And while I'm making comments I'd also mention that the slack in the compound slide is called end play and uh, there are videos out there showing you how to make a new nut uh, to go inside the cross slide or compound slide to take out the, the end play. And a uh, second comment is you might notice that the chuck looks like it's spinning backwards, anti-clockwise, and that's just a optical illusion caused by the strobing effect of video. So it happens that I've got the speed set such that, that it looks like it's turning backwards when it's really turning forwards. So don't be fooled by that. <laughs>